Hello YouTube, Zachary here with episode 14, Ambition. So today I noticed my subwoofer has blown. Um, it's lasted over seven years. And in this video here, you can see how deteriorated it is. And honestly, kind of sad that it blew. So I'm gonna get it repaired. Thank God that it's only half the cost of what it normally costs to get a brand new one. So shout out to JL Audio. Hopefully they can fix it. And then secondly, the stock market spiked a little bit and then returned back down to its opening levels. And I should have sold because I was up 40%, but I thought it could go higher. So I held. I'm only about negative $30, as you can see here. And um, I believe that we're going to keep on holding. We're going we're gonna to wait till the end of the week and see what's up. Maybe tomorrow I sell if it gets really red, but if it goes green, if it goes another, maybe if it goes 60%, I'll probably just sell and keep half in there. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. I don't really plan too much ahead for those because anything could happen and I'd rather not be so strict on my choices prior to actually seeing it in front of me live. Tomorrow, I'm going to the dentist. I'm going to go get a cleaning. Super excited about that. Looking to possibly get a teeth whitening at some point, maybe. Um, I've always been self-conscious about smiling or have my teeth. But, hey, you never know. Some people think my teeth are super white. Me, personally, I, I feel like it's a little sh shade, a little yellow. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I, I shine bright like a diamond to, uh, in, in the coming few days. I didn't go to the gym because um, I was really exhausted. Uh, last night I was up really late and then um, today I took a nap. And so I feel a bit more energetic now. So ideally tomorrow I go to the gym and do triceps and you'll see that in the video tomorrow. Finally, also tomorrow I will be cracking about 32 eggs and getting ready for my deviled eggs recipe um, should be a fun little experience and hopefully it's not too much trouble and demanding on my fingers to crack 32 eggs but we'll see hard-boiled eggs not just like cracking eggs but yeah should be fun hopefully they taste delicious because if they taste bad i'm gonna be disappointed and so are other people <laughs> Today I want to talk about ambition. I was very ambitious when I was younger. Um, I used to, I still have a fish tank and I would want to have a saltwater reef tank and get that set up. And I did mainly everything by myself. Um, I did my own research. I used to have a really nice car. I totaled that sadly. And I did my own research. I got the body kit. I painted it. I changed the suspension, got different rims, went to car shows, I won awards, and after totaling it, it kind of just felt demoralizing. Like, why am I putting all this effort in for something to be taken away so easily? And honestly, that could happen in any aspect of life and anything you do. Such as if you got your dream career job and you you thought you were gonna be there forever and then one day your boss is like, I gotta let you go. And it just happens. Some things are out of your control, especially when you're not your own boss. So don't lose hope and go find another dream job. It's, it's not like there's not going to be opportunity that arises. You probably have mad experience and you're very well educated on the, on the subject. So don't feel so down. Think of it as a better opportunity to make more money. Other things that was ruining my ambition and my motivation to keep on going would be my fish tank had a leak once and through the pipes and it flooded my whole living room and the apartment under me got wet because there's so much water it's about 200 gallons so it wasn't very great experience and now i've been very hesitant to even start it up again as some things can go wrong very easily and very quickly ideally maybe we get a vlog going of me setting it back up and getting it wet and that would be really fun to share with you guys and hope you guys would like it too another reason i feel like i stopped doing those things or um even i thought i was going to quit trading at multiple points in my life as 
I wasn't being so successful with it. I'm still probably negative from my all time entry point when I first started till now, but we're getting closer to that with me saving and making money and actually transferring it to my bank account versus keeping it in the Robin hood and using it to lose it within the next day. I used to have a, a girlfriend now an ex that told me to just go get a regular job and to quit uh, day trading. And that's something I never wanted to do. I honestly, you could take breaks from trying to achieve your dreams, but you shouldn't never give up on them as Sometimes you might need to step back just to get a bigger picture and then you can go head on first in the right direction. I, I'm glad I don't, I never quit and I'm going to keep on going as I really want to achieve this versus letting people think that I can't. And honestly, I think I can. I'm smart, I'm well educated, and I understand things very well, so I'm going to keep on going for that. So in that example, don't let others tell you you can't achieve something. If you want something, go get it. Especially if you want it more than other people think you can actually make it happen. That, may, that honestly is such a bigger motivation in a way as you have to sometimes prove people wrong. Some people get more drive by doing so. If there's so many external factors that are drawing you down and bringing you away from what you want to achieve, even um, demoralizing you in the sense of lack of motivation, Find the motivation from within. Do not listen to the outside things. Put on some earmuffs, you know. Don't, don't listen to the naysayers that can't do what you want to do as they're still in the same position. And if you want something more, look within and use your own heart and drive to make it happen. When I was younger, I heard of a video about wanting it more than you want to breathe. In the sense, like, if you're being pushed underwater, you got to want it more than you're going to die. Well... You gotta want it more than drowning. You gotta want it more than being hungry at night, more than you crave food when you're starving. You gotta more than, want it more than the things that you need to just live as you will see that you will push those boundaries and get out of your comfort zone to make it happen. You gotta want it more than something you need in your everyday life. They say that you're usually really close to achieving your dreams right before you quit as that's when the hardest part occurs. You either, something goes astray from outside factors or you mess up not knowing that it was a mistake. And you, you have to learn from that and you have to keep on persevering as you could be so close, but you might give up too early. Don't let those little hindrances affect and ruin all those sleepless nights and perseverance that you put into achieving what you want. Some say um, ambition is priceless and it's usually you have it or you don't. I believe everyone has it. It's just the lack of knowing what you're capable of and what you really can do with your mind and your body. It's easy to dream a dream, but it's definitely harder to work for it as it takes a lot of determination, hard work, and never quitting on your dreams to realize it and have it come into a reality. So start now and claim your life and the success you want and stop daydreaming about it and make it happen. So thank you for joining episode 14 Ambition. Like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.